Washington State is a really special place. I don't know if you can give an exact uh, recipe for why that is, um, but I think it's, it is probably very unique in, in the numbers of people and organizations that are working on all sorts of incredible projects and works globally. I believe there is something in the water here which is different, but I think that it is also the leadership of the community. The major leaders of that community have all stood up and said that if a society cares, you've got to give back. A variety of reasons why we've chosen to stay in Seattle, but one of the reasons is there's been this great uh, group of uh, a community of nonprofits, of, of academia, of companies in Washington State that are working overseas. It, it actually is remarkable that a relatively small state we have the amount of effort on international development. whether you're Microsoft or you're Talking Rain, which is a local uh, water company here, each company can do something to, to make a difference. And their employees, I think we're seeing often now, employees want to be working for corporations that are making a difference. The beauty is, is that Microsoft women are incredibly passionate about social change and cultural change. And so not only do they think about it in the context of how to be a better Microsoft person, but they think of it in the context of changing the world. I do think that these are, uh, if you will, unique ingredients for Seattle. There is a historical commitment to international. Uh, there is indeed a legacy of innovation. And finally, I think that there's all the right kinds of ingredients around global health and development in this state. businesses increasingly realize that it's in their um, enlightened self-interest to become active and strategic in helping elevate the position of people from around the world, both in terms of reducing the bad things that happen, but also generating opportunities. For example, um, our friends at the Rural Development Institute are working in China. If they are ultimately as successful as we think they can be in helping raise the standard of living of 750 million Chinese farmers, that will provide a remarkable opportunity, not just for China, but for the global economy. And that's the bottom line, in my opinion. All this iliomostary and charity work, as these countries grow and develop, I think that we as Washingtonians have a much better opportunity to develop a business with them and create real jobs on both sides of the ocean. Absolutely, it's good for Washington State. It's our future. <laughs>